Now, Tucson is known for having some of the most talented artists around. Coming up, we have an opportunity to not only see the work of many of them, but also to ask questions and learn about the art directly from the artists themselves. Susan Wishman and Kay Nittman are here to tell us all about this opportunity. Ladies, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having thank us. You. It's fun to be here. Uh, let's start out with uh, Arts Trails and kind of where it began, how it all started. Well, in 2015, uh, TPAC, which was the Tucson Pima Art, Arts Council, decided uh, not to support um, open studio in Tucson. And at that time, there were about 240 artists from, from all parts of Tucson, and it was really too many to see in one weekend. So there were three artists on the open studio committee that actually um, decided to get together with some other artists, fellow artists in the northwest section of, of Tucson, and start up something called Art Trails. And um, shortly after that, the uh, Hot Art, which is uh, heart of Tucson, which is the central location, um, they decided to follow suit. So we have two groups. We support one another. Uh, we do a lot of um, work together, such as the show at the Tucson Jewish Community Center right now. We have going on, and tomorrow night's our reception from 6 to 8. Um, and so we do things like that as, as, but we have separate open studios. For example, Susan and I are with Art Trails. We will be doing it this coming weekend, and uh, the Hot Art will be doing theirs the following weekend. Okay, well, let's talk, talk about the open studio uh, tour events and what that means. What, what can we expect? Well, it really is kind of a celebration of what we've done the past year. I know that uh, some people are not able to have the studios in their homes, and so some of us are in galleries or community centers, and that's really a plus because then you get so many artists at one time. But a lot, some of the people will be doing little demonstrations with their kills, their painting techniques. Um, that kind of thing. So it really is exciting and it's so much fun to meet, you know, all the people that come in and, and want to look at your artwork. And that's, I think that's the best part for all of us. Oh, and I know you mentioned kind of, you know, the, the different uh, parts of town and I'm sure artists are kind of uh, different areas. So what, what t areas of town do we kind of encompass with these tours? We're from South Kinney Road all the way up to Oro Valley. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, this is, we know we're going to get a, a. Picture rocks. Yes. <laughs> we're going to get a lot of, of different areas, but also mm -hmm. a, a wide array of artists, a, a very diverse yes. uh, bucket of, of artists. And I know you we, brought some samples. Yeah, we don't just have sculptors and painters, and we have people that work on jewelry, like the necklace I'm wearing yes. by Diane Taylor, and then paintings. And then a lot of the artists are selling cards or postcards and calendars. So, you know, think about Christmas coming up yeah. because these are wonderful presents for people and the price is so reasonable. I mean, you're talking to the artists that did the cards, the paintings, the whatever they're doing. And uh, so that's pretty exciting. I love that you mentioned Christmas because you're right. Yeah. What a unique uh, a way to give somebody, yeah. somebody that has everything, yeah. give them a piece of art that's very unique. Now, on top of these wonderful uh, open studio tours, we're having a big preview uh, show also. Can you tell me about that? That's tomorrow night. Uh, well, actually, it's going on right now, but the big reception is tomorrow evening, which I mentioned before. Uh, it's from 6 to 8 at the Jewish Community Center on River Road. And uh, so we ha they have a wonderful gallery there and we, we have just taken over the whole thing. So <laughs> it's great, it's great. And that's what I was saying at the very beginning about being able to like ask the artist some questions, learn a little bit of the background, which is very right. uh, specific to something like this and we don't always get that opportunity. So we should take advantage of that. Now, when we're talking about the tours, how can I find out where everything is at? Well, we have a, um, a website, arttrails.org um, for us and, and the, um, Hot art, I'm not sure. I don't have any of that yeah, information. Yeah, no, that's okay. But arttrails.org, if you look under the, the artist's name, there is a map to each There's studio. A map. And, and also Zocalo. at the, you know, also at the um, uh, homes and at the you studios, can, we've got 
we're going right. to be getting some maps tomorrow night, so you can pick up a map there or get the information. Yeah. At so start at Zocal one tour. Start at one tour. Also. Yeah, and then pick up the map, map mm -hmm. and make your way around. There you go. That's right. This is a great opportunity. I'm so glad that we're able to, you know, continue this. I'm going to remind everyone one more time about the dates and information. But ladies, thank you so much. You did thank a great you, job. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. Art Trails Open Studio Tour is happening this Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. To learn more, please visit arttrails.org or you can give them a call at 308-440. 407.